Okay, Ryan Stonelson here, and I am coming at you with the local service ad uh, partner update here. Well, there's some cool things that have been introduced, not as big a changes as what happened in October, um, but just as you, as you guys know, I run a digital marketing agency, and I give these updates to help you guys understand and, and make heads or tails of the local service ad platform. So hopefully this helps. If you do find this information helpful, then please comments below, add your comments below to this video and like and subscribe uh, because I do give these updates on a uh, monthly basis in addition to other helpful information about local service ads. So uh, for November, you can see that, that there is a local service ads bidding launch and this is really gonna help you guys that are in the home services and professional services side of local service ads. Now. Not all home services have been able to bid on leads like the professional services have. Now, home services can do the same thing as we've seen for, for professional services like personal injury, etc. So I would definitely take advantage of this. You can actually read more about bidding here. You can see how bidding works. Uh, maximize uh, leads is recommended, but I would not do that, guys. You're going to get way more bids by maxing out the amount that you're spending uh, for your leads because why wouldn't you do it? You're getting really inexpensive leads, more inexpensive than any other ad unit that's out there. So I would definitely just max out that bid and get really aggressive and do that. So here's the ranking factors. Everybody always asks me what the ranking factors are. Here's all the, the ranking factors. Your business hours, responsiveness, proximity, review score, context of person search, etc. Here is the ranking factors. So please look at those. Okay. So here's the new columns, category and bids. So you can see what's going on there uh, with your accounts uh, to see what categories you're showing up for and then the, the bid amount. And that's the reason why they're probably doing this is to show you and, and really highlight your bid, whether it's automatic or you've, you've identified a specific amount that you're bidding uh, for your uh, leads. Okay, business verification tab, now always visible. So this is really great because you can actually see you know, uh, what's going on here. You can actually see, you know, that this section right here, the business verification section here, always, it's always going to be visible. Okay. That's really cool. Deprecating lead dispute appeals process. Okay. So this is no longer allowing providers to appeal dispute decisions. This is good because, and there's information here on how to, how to dispute charges and dispute policies. So basically, once you've actually gotten a resolution, whether it's approved or not, you can't dispute it. Okay. So the lead distribution process is final. It's, you know, so this is what's happening. Uh, background check, drop off a policy reminder. If you don't get a pass or fail within 90 days, then you got to basically uh, resubmit, it looks like. I mean, basically, you know, and that's, what, that's what they're saying here for Pinkerton. Um, and they're saying they're showing you specific dates if you filed on August 20th and basically um, and nothing's been uh, decided and or you have not completed the background check requirements, then that background check drop off is happening there for Pinkerton. Real, real estate providers no longer block from uploading licenses. So this has been solved. They were unable to add licenses and feature uh, professional details for real estate verticals. Now uh, this has been fixed. So. Basically, you can add any details you want for those targeted verticals for real estate. Workaround for removing uh, field workers from evidence. So, you know, you can remove a field worker in the uh, application process. Um, here's the specific workaround. And then uh, there's new copy for professional licenses section. Now, this is what it says including you, because there's some confusion about whether or not the owner of the company needed to actually do a background check as well. And now we know that that is the case, that they actually have to submit their, their license as well. And then professional services update, okay? So there's a new help page here for ad professionals. And this is good because it really does help you guys uh, understand who needs a primary license, who doesn't need a primary license, um, how the future professionals works, 
et cetera. So this is definitely really good information and a really good update here for November. Um, I hope you found this helpful. This applies to some of you, some of it might not, but um, just read through this, apply this as needed to your business. But some of these are really good updates. And um, this bidding is really exciting because like I said, you're getting really inexpensive leads. Why not bid the max amount and get as many leads as you possibly can? Okay. All right. Thanks. Hope this helps. And again, put any comments below that you want. All right.